I wonder if all of your military lines would it mean that you're also attacking the Native Americans at the point? Yeah, don't know if I will just get uh, randomly thrown into your wars, but potentially I'm assuming so. I don't want to find out. You have been asked to join a military alliance. I mean, I'm allied to you now, but it doesn't seem like I'm at war with anyone. I guess the indigenous people are just your problem. You just need to, you know, rediscover your inner uh, Dutch spirit of colonialism and, you know, do what needs to be done. Be all colonial about it, basically. Which reminds me, aside from the, um, like, few and far between, like, colonies in a specific, what other colonies in Germany have in the age? It's like, you know, you guys had some colonies in the Pacific, but it's about it, to my knowledge. Ah, I have to say again, you guys suddenly get quieter on my side. You changed any settings? Perhaps, how about this? That gets better. Yeah. Have a bit more, a bit more. A bit better, you're still somewhat quiet, but that's a bit a bit better. Can I make you louder? No, you're already at 200%. Now? Ah, that's, that, that's better. Okay, so aside from German colony shit in the Pacific, what other colonies did Germany actually have in the past? Because like, I'm not well familiar with that. Oh, good question you're asking there. Hmm. What do you call it? Yeah, that's a good question. I'll probably have to look. To be fair. Let's see, a random curry has like made... The Netherlands had parts of India for a while. We had Indonesia for the most part. That was part of the part. Um, Philippine Isles, I think. And... What else? I know Japan took a few of your items, a few of your islands during the First World War, but that's about all to my knowledge. I do know that the Dutch had a rather large. Um, yeah, we took a lot. We took a lot. We were very we were very was kinda, big about it. Uh, kind of going like, hmm, yes, I mean, uh, the British did the whole Commonwealth thing. I'm sure we can do this too. And uh, yes, kinda. You know, there was enough. We did. So. We didn't copy it from the British. We copied it from the Portuguese. The British copied it of us. Because we were doing really well with it. Portuguese were not that great. Yes, and who's the one who will be remembered for the Commonwealth? Oh, right, the British. Neither the Portuguese nor the Spain, not the Dutch. <laughs> and what was the first multi billion dollar company in the world? Oh, yeah, the Dutch Indies, not the British Indies. Yes, and still, you know, when people think of the good old days of the Commonwealth, you know, they're not referring to the Dutch Commonwealth now, are they? <laughs> yeah, and guess what? The Commonwealth was a bunch of outlaid slave labor. Not that the dish were any better, but like the idea of it like being golden age is kind of ironic. Ex because it was far what? from it. Eh, you know, to be fair. That's, that's the, the end result of the Pike and Shot era. Europe realized that the whole world was indeed the oyster. Just, you know. What a taking. They did. Quite literally. Why wouldn't they? Eh. There was literally nobody who could post it. I mean, literally, you know. The, the fucking Chinese. At battles where you had like you know 10,000 Chinese against a few hundred British and the British won. Easily. Don't forget the Chinese cannons weren't as well equipped for ships than the European cannons were at the time, but fair. I can shot against fucking people that still fight like it's the fucking Middle Ages. Yeah, I can kinda see why. I don't mean that, I mean the ship tactics. Like the Chinese had better, had worse ship cannons to begin with for ships. Yeah, but who cares? Yeah, you know, you only need to get your people on the shore. As soon as you're on the shore, you have basically won because even with just a few hundred, you can literally beat thousands of enemies. 
You literally are gonna have yeah, commanders true. who send in true. 300 men against 6,000 men, and that's considered normal. That's the sort of advantage oh, you have. These days, I back to. These days, I can't come back to the old days for the simple reason that guerrilla warfare just beats it any day, but yeah. No, actually, uh, we have finally reached the point where most of the nations of the world have just basically just copied Europe's techniques and went like, okay, yeah, through all this whole shit. Apart from parts of Africa, we're still kind of like, hmm, you know what, a spear is a good weapon, isn't it? Yes, it is a good weapon, but not against the gun. Never was, never will be. Uh, I mean, you're forgetting one thing, guerrilla warfare still beats out most common tactics of warfare if you're it expected to beat go against them. common tactics of warfare. It's just that you cannot win if the people can, if you can't actually you know, defeat the enemy because they continuously you retreat, go... retreat, 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 you will never win, but if the other side will also not win. Yeah, but that's the point, it's a, then it becomes war of attrition over a war of victory, or a victory of kills. Yeah, because you can't. Just war of attrition, and that's usually more effective if you're like on the side that doesn't have anything to lose. Yes, but the point is, you're still not gonna be able to rule the country. You're still not able to do anything in your country because you're still not gonna rule it. The other party was. You do realize, charged. you do realize that guerrilla groups in Colombia actually got like a big plus in their like agreements because of like long, long fighting. Because it's like, fucking they got annoying. Half the, shit they wanted. the whole reason is it's fucking annoying. It costs resources and manpower. Nobody's willing to do that in the long run. Yes, obviously, but still, that doesn't mean that you actually this shit win. Works. Yes, because, it works. If you, because being annoying, to win. but you're still not going to win a war like that, because, well, the other side wants it, they can just con continue to sit there. Sure, you can sabotage them, but they can also send more people in. Yeah, it's an endless, an endless, basically uh, non-conclusive kind of thing. Uh, kind, of, kind of useless. I mean, I see, I see the, the argument I for mean, it. you say that, but Vietnam still beat America with the tactic, technically speak, because America pulled out eventually. Yeah, that's usually what happens, because at some point you're kind of going to count the uh, amount of investment you have to make to keep this up, versus the uh, future investments you would have to make in order to keep going and going and going, because you can't actually foresee when the enemy guerrilla side will actually stop being not assholes. To mention, not to mention, and also, than a village is one thing, but bringing and a also, village is more expensive. Most of the time, the simple reason why that works is because most of the uh, invading forces are actually not nearly as assholish as they could be. I mean, sure, you, you say Napalm and Agent Orange is not as large enough. But you could do so much worse if you wanted to. You could literally yeah. employ, you know, a burnt earth uh, strategy and just go like, okay, these people want Use to live in... Place. You can just go like, okay, these people want to live in the mountains. Okay, they still need food. How do we stop them from getting food? All right, we're just going to burn the fucking area completely. We can, we have the technology. But there, we have the technology, yes, downside. Look at what's happening in Gaza. Meh. The uh, Middle like, East and uh, will eventually get pissed. Middle East and everything around it honestly has always been just a powder barrel that's just waiting to explode over and over and over again. That's yeah, only gonna but get more. Really? Yes, yes, I know. Now come we come to the part where everybody's gonna clap themselves on the shoulder and go like, ah, it's all of the evils of the Western world combined. Now it's like. Mm. Not and I'm sitting issue. and I'm sitting here like not really. These people hated each other for fucking hundreds of years. It's not like we made it any better, but my oh god, we also didn't make it that much I said, worse. I, like I said, it's not the only reason, but it's most of the part. The big reason is more actually the fact that like okay. we're not trying to make better agreements, better oh, yeah. negotiations. We're not trying to help them in a better feeling with us. Yeah, that, that will never happen. It's a basis to make it worse. We will never make it any better because we actually lack the determination to do so because what we could do is you know we could just go down there go like okay we're in the middle you go to the left you go to the right now you have two options you go through us and we strike back with all we have every last single weapon in our arsenal tanks planes bombs whatever the fuck who shoots at us and now we play nice by our rules yeah. you know? We determine the borders now. We'll say like, okay, you know, you people there, you people there, we don't fucking care if any one of you has a problem with that, go fuck yourself. Now it's quiet. But sadly... Yeah, how did, that, how did that go in Africa? When we made borders there, or like another place... Oh, yeah, because borders, Africa was or... such a nice and peaceful place before we came there. Yeah, those people totally didn't enslave each other the and sell themselves the off to the, the border, Arabs. <laughs> the borders we made were worse than they were when we left, when we started off there. 
the place? Africa as a whole, as a continent. It was a pretty fucking mess before we even arrived there. And it didn't get better, sure. It's ridiculous, to put it mildly. The whole fucking continent they is were more ridiculous. Advanced. They were more better off before we had the industrial revolution, to begin with. Oh yeah, Africa before was ours. Look, look, look at this fucking country. These people still live in the same bloody fucking dirt huts that they had fucking when we... Okay, dudes, how long have you been in Africa in your life? Have you ever looked at their history to begin with? A little bit, of course. I'm um, doing, um, you know. You do realize that Africa also is home to like Be to like the, um, no Babylon was it? Um, Are you coming in? Well, several, there's several very important moments in African history where they were more advanced than Europe was in the Middle Ages. Yeah, and several. ever since then they have not fucking advanced now, have they? Without outside help, yeah, because we never gave them the option to, and we always had it in chaos to like survive. And let's us. turn this scenario around. Who Europe gave lived... who gave Europe the option to advance? All right, Europeans, you do it yourself. You advance by yourself. You face opposition continuously from every side, yeah. over and over again, and you grow still. As happened all over no, Europe. It's not that simple. It's not that simple. It has happened all over we Europe. You can see it. Because we were united. And because we had oh, yeah, sure. to we unite were... several fucking times. Fucking Germany didn't even exist in that time. We had little fucking states going on. They still managed to keep up with the other big ones. Like fucking France who formed. I wonder why. It's almost as if literally France <sighs> made it a thing. And we were they indeed. They were united after we Napoleon were, indeed... were defeated. Yeah, and long, long before that. We had, you know, all of this nonsense started. Let's not forget that. You know, we still advanced throughout the ages. We managed yeah, that. And, and we were most definitively not we most definitively were not really united in any fucking real fashion. We I mean constantly the Congress of Vienna made it very clear you were not to be united, so yeah, fair enough. We were quite literally in all all of you were actually watching constantly for fucking centuries, busy banging each other. And not in the nice way, also in the nice way, but mostly with fucking clubs. Okay, okay, you said that's true, but when we had to unite, we were united. When the when Ottoman Empire invaded Europe, they united. When yeah, the Arabs, may not South really Europe, become. South, we we kind of abandoned the Austrians when a few Austria times did... when it came to Austria. Austria actually lost land to the Ottomans because uh, the rest of Europe was like, yeah, Ugh, come true. on, not again, this shit again. Although that's true, although that's true, they were eventually brought back because they had to fight back at some point. I mean, yeah, as soon as it became more obvious that they were quite literally in the in front of the capital city of Austria, they were like, hmm, okay, yeah, we should probably send. And even then, they made sure that the Austrians paid a heavy fucking debt for that. <laughs> but that's history for you. But that's the thing. Like, Europe would unite if it needed to when it became a threat. That's my point. And Africa, Africa didn't. never fought Why? united when they saw a threat. No, they kind of, you know, were busy most of the time being idiots. Literally, no, it's about it. They were just fighting themselves. They were fighting amongst themselves too much. Yeah, but that should say. normally lead to also advancement because it happened all everywhere else in the world. You know, people fight, people advance. Everywhere else? No, not per se. Well, I mean, it happened in China to a certain degree. Then they stopped because they massively unified, actually, to be fair. Happened in Europe for most of the part. Yeah, but you're forgetting one thing. You assume that Africa I is behind it because yeah. they want to be behind it because they don't have to they wish to. They have cities. They're not only living in huts. That's kind of a stereotypical view these days. But the point yeah, it's an is, they are behind because the point yeah, is, okay, the Afri so Africa as a continent is far, far behind any living standard that we have. Uh, or pretty much all yeah, of you. Yeah, I wonder why that is. And that no, is not. It's, it's, it's not. Them to be, it's, and it's, it's not just as simple. Because we gave leaders the position they wanted because we and it's not just as simple as saying the resources for cheap. It's not just as simple as saying like, okay, because you know, at some point somebody colonized some part of their lands. Now they're fucked for eternity. No, that is not as simple as that. They do carry a bit of self responsibility I mean, for that. You can't just I mean, go like, do yeah, you know yeah, how long Haiti yeah. took to pay the extra debt to France? Pretty fucking long. Do you know how long the British paid? 2014. Do you know how long the British had to pay money us. for their little investor that was uh, stopping the fucking slave trade? I think until 2012 or 13. Yeah? They had to pay the monies necessary to stop the fucking slave trade. Why the fuck do you know? They haven't bothered. I guess Why they it... bothered? Because it was very much important that they weren't going to be enterprising. I don't know if you remember the famous um, brochures that people wore in both aristocracy and poverty to show they supported like free slaves 
Those numbers this was were more like a, a, apart from the uh, obvious moral obligation that they felt, you know. Of course, there's also other incentives. That is obvious. It was more a joke along the line that the uh, party, the, even the British, have a good bone in them. Where yeah, that might be. You want, you want to know what the second multi-billion industry was? Not comedy, but industry. Those fucking brushers. Why doesn't that? Huh? Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to set oh, yeah. That was the first multi-million or multi-billion, like, or the second multi-million, I think, industry that was, like, made at the time. Where literally the industry made, like, so much that it was basically rivaling other, like, industries to the degree that it was, like, spice trades, slave trade itself. Those brochures made as much money as that. Uh, I mean, the arrows made pretty good of the fucking slave trade as well. They weren't a fan of yeah, ending it. No, 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 <laughs> now you imagine, now you imagine, yeah? A bunch of brushers being made to free the slave and that becoming just as powerful in like finances. Hey, I'd like to remind happened. you that Europe has freed itself of slavery ever since the Middle Ages. We have served yeah, them. But that's my point. The moment they introduced to the slavery and you have an industry all of a sudden that rivals those other industries with just the idea of freeing it as a symbol itself being sold, you realize as parliament you might want to make a move to get those people on your side. For As I said before, you know, it's not it's not like there isn't a massive incentive to do something that is also, you know, by the way, a moral good. Makes yeah, nice what propaganda. I'm is, like you said, why they bothered? That's why they bothered because there was a huge move. As I said, you know, that was that was more meant as a statement to make a joke about the moral character of the Brits. That was not meant as a true to be taken statement. Of course, there is incentive okay, sorry, to do yeah. it. That's the the whole point I was trying to make. That you know. The Brits apparently do have at least one moral bone in their body, you know, because they are Brits. I mean, the British people did, the <laughs> government <laughs> maybe not, but the British people definitely did at some point. Although, don't but hey, speak too soon, they were I the mean, ones you know, who invented the, um, the, invented the concept of what we compared to the to concentration camps at the very least with the Second World War. I do remember that the Brits did a nice little thing where they basically took some people, some Jews from a boat and put them in what was it, essentially also a concentration camp. <laughs> Oh, not just Jews, oh, like, what's one of those ironies? Um, I, uh, shit, I need to look this up this, because I'm actually uh, quite interested in the, the maritime history. And um, I remember reading that one story where basically, you know, the Jews freed after World War get in the boat, the Brits stopped the boat because, you know, strange, and they put the Jews in a fucking, basically, a concentration camp again, and you're sitting there like, hmm, <laughs> that, that was a fucking yeah, uh, thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not forget the Boer War, the Second Boer War, but they also like put the um, native population into um, concentration camps practically. By the way, this was like 80 years before the Second World War. Was it 80 years or 40 years? Let me check. What well, of those? There was actually a generation where, like, if there were people that were young enough to be officers in the um, army, oh, people stop they would be old enough to remember their days when the Second World War broke out. Ah, so, so many horrible things happened in the past. It's amazing. And still, you know, a lot of moral good was. Oh, I can make more farms. Why did nobody inform me of that? Um, oh, I can make hemp. Can I make hemp? Wine. Hops. Hops. <laughs> can, can we make hops? Yeah, 30 years before that. Shit. So, practically speaking, if someone started at the Boer War, and they lived on to World War II, they would be old enough to remember the concentration camps and still be an officer in the army at the time if they wanted to. It's a long time serving, but it's technically possible. In other words, mm -hmm. in theory, oh, it's possible for someone to have put so, to have both put people in concentration camps and feed people of concentration camps. Imagine that. Well, you know. Ah, what was that one documentary? Um, what was it called? Um. Yes, yes, then names in my memory. Um, the Laughing Man. It's a German um, documentation, uh, documentary about um, uh, well, a, 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 a nice guy. Basically, you know, the, 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 the standard, box standard guy you find off the road, you know, who basically served in the Second World War. And after that went into uh, the Congo. It continued his warfare. And they have this nice long... Uh, I think it's an hour-long interview with him, where he talks about all of the shit that goes down there, and he, of course, you know, draws some comparison to his own experience in the Wehrmacht, and he's like, yeah. Those, those, those bloody damn black stay, they do horrible things. 
really do horrible things and say hire me to do horrible things and say let me do horrible things that I bring with me from the mainland. Like, okay, yeah. That's a really interesting aspect because that guy is basically, you know, he, he's, he's just a normal guy, you know, and he sits there all smiley and goes like, ah, yeah, I remember when we did a bit of hide and seek with some skulls and I'm sitting there like, okay. That's, that's, uh, interesting. A bit, a, a, a bit strange, but, um, He's like, yeah, you know, nowadays, um, all the fun is in the Congo, you know, you, 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 not Europe, Europe will probably not see another war for, you know, decades, and he was absolutely right with that, because Europe didn't see any major wars for decades, but uh, Africa was still a uh, fair game, you know. And literally, you know, there were quite a few warlords who were more than willing to hire former uh, Wehrmacht soldiers, uh, and Wehrmacht officers, of course, to, um, to train troops, to, um, well, basically uh, do whatever they want. Mercenary work. And you could actually get um, a pretty good living off that, you know? I uh, was pretty well paid. In case you ever wondered where all of that fucking, you know, help Africa money goes. Yeah, that's one of those places where it ends up. I'm a surprise. Which, I mean, you know, that the whole system, I always wondered, you know, and I think at this point, Africa has received as a whole trillions of dollars of money that is supposed to help you up. With trillions of Not dollars trillions, of money. Billions, definitely. I'm, I'm pretty sure like at this you point, if you, if you, if you count, count all the support they've got ever since... If you count government money yet, for instance, if you count people's incentives, only a few millions. That's what I'm trying to yeah, say. We'll be we taking the sum total of money that flowed from outside without any, uh, you know, service, without any trade inside Africa. We're having trillions. You could build literal cities of that. Pretty nice cities even, with, you know, good sewer systems and everything else you want. Electrical plants, en masse. And still, Africa is, is, is lacking so far behind, it's not even funny. Yeah, something. Think. Just going off the sheer money. If uh, if you give a normal nation, one singular nation, that is sort of money to uh, freely spend, um, the people would be rioting if their streets weren't plated in fucking gold. After a while, because, well, just look at the amount of money that comes in. Sure, you will always I have know, to. But it's almost as local borders are getting paid to actually use that money for other things. You'll always like, have to account for a bit of, you know, the good old fashioned corruption because, you know, a bit of that money is always going to get lost, but still, that's that's that, that's an asshole amount of money that you could spend. Yeah. And actually do good things with. You know, as I said, you know, you could literally build uh, not just one city, you could probably just, just send a lot of this money into land reforms, you know. Um. By technology, deep digging for wells and shit. That's pretty, pretty fucking useful if you're having a, a country that has quite a few of desert areas. Um, infrastructure, of course, you know. Streets, connecting things in sensible manners. Sure, that's not something that comes uh, along in, in one's lifetime. Basically, that's the sort of project you have to plan and then see it done in a uh, couple hundred years. Yeah, if you take the whole continent into consideration, but still, you know, you could have done a lot of steps toward that. I could have, but I Yeah, so I mean, yeah, the money for yeah, I always see the problem, you know, where where is that money going to end up? It's not going to end up with the people, it's going to end up with the government. And in many of these cases, said government is basically, you know, the next best warlord in control. And of course, he's not going to spend that money on... Um, you know, humanitarian aid or something, he's gonna spend it on money and mercenaries. Because, and himself, honestly, yeah, yeah, of course, you know, he's also gonna build himself a nice house and shit. And, yeah. He's probably gonna have a nice little, you know, 100 square meter pool or so, so he can, you know, simulate being in the ocean while his people are, uh, you know, out there and, uh, well, they're, they're probably gonna die of uh, dehydration. That the whole system there really is fucked, honestly. I guess you could turn it around, technically speaking, and say, like, well, maybe we weren't, you know, colonial enough in that particular regard, and should have been far, 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 far more we were, colonial. We were, to the degree that today, like, we're kind of focusing on having the water in power, so we can get with cheap resources, like lithium, stupid I mean, this. technically speaking, we could just go in there, you know, and replace all the boilers and go like, hmm. Yeah, but we need incentive, and the government really doesn't have much incentive to change so that. Yeah, mostly because real. actually it's not a popular opinion any longer, and you can't get votes with that. That's the most problem. Yeah, like I said. And that's the, the real incentive. incentive you would need there. I mean, with, without a doubt, that is precisely the incentive you would need. If people actually would, you know, go like, okay, we need to clean up Africa now. 
a pretty sure a united European army would find itself very, very quickly. I mean, maybe, but at what cost though? I mean, there are still some people in uh, the, the former colonial territories who actually go like, yeah, it was pretty shitty under colonial rule, you know. For example, one uh, in particular territory, German-controlled territory, if memory serves, actually had a nice little rule where um, once a week a single person would be uh, flogged. And every week, one single person was chosen by the uh, community to be sent to the Germans. The Germans would flog their ass brutally, very brutally, and uh, set a nice sign, you know, a nice little bit of rule by fear in this particular case. They didn't need it to be guilty of anything, it's just, you know, the community needed just to decide to send one single poor fucker over there to get literally um, brutalized. Every single week, one person. Worked like a charm. Now that's shitty. Very shitty. But on the other side, the Germans also brought with them, of course, you know, a lot of technology, building technology, well building technology, engineering and other aspects. And of course, a lot of that has stayed there even after we went away, so... Now you have some, some very old as Africans who are like, you know what, it actually wasn't that bad. And you're sitting there like, okay, if even some Africans are of the opinion, then why the fuck is, are we Europeans still making such a fuss about it? Shouldn't we just shut up and move on at some point? I go like, okay, that was a thing, we're not going to do it again, so let them be. Let Africa be, see where it leads. Because, you know, maybe if we leave them alone and we stop actually you now incentivizing them to begging uh, for, for European monies, Maybe they would actually go through a phase of development. They won't. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they would actually finally finish that whole unification process into bigger, larger nations, less little warlords. Maybe. But yes, you know, it could also go up in flames, like the giant shit show that it already is, basically. That too is an option. Considering we have warlords already there, and the warlords are definitely instead of to help the people, it's not gonna get any better, let's be honest. It kind of depends, you know. A warlord can be quite, quite a mighty of a oh, but uh, enough people rise up because they're fucking sick and tired of this shit. So it's not impossible. But you already said it. If enough people, there's not there sh like a high chance they won't have if they are a person of like you did. <sighs> Who knows? The point is, we're never gonna find out. Because, you know, Europe will still keep its sticky little fingers very, very close to Africa because, well, you know, we need to help them after all. Those poor fuckers. Ugh. Which is like, now, on one hand I get it, it's the whole historical guilt taken upon yourselves, but is that really a good option? Several reasons why it is, but sure. Yeah, you know, it's, that's it. It is, uh... Most definitely something you can debate back and forth about. Which makes it fun. Hmm, where was my... Oh, there's my delete tool. I still don't have any cash, but I can for some reason still be able to ask me how. Oh. Stop trying to delete my little uh, thing. I also don't really know how the little market stands I actually function. I mean, there's a lot of buildings that are outside of their range, but they're still getting fed, so... I'm just gonna uh, accept it. I think it. they need to be in range of the marketplace itself, which makes it to, like, table grow, I guess? Uh, maybe. Uh, they could be. But both of mine setups are actually close to the marketplace. I mean, hey, you know, so long as it works. Okay, so we're also having no... Actually, I should, uh, you know, before I continue to open like an idiot, I should probably sometimes take a look at what my people are actually producing or not producing. Mm, how does it look? Food is still okay. Tense. Oh, well, leather rather is okay. Salt has exploded to the point of... Uh, Unbelievableness. The Baku and Spice then we don't need. What do my people actually want? A school and a bigger place for worship. Our people are greedy little assholes. That's all I'm hearing here. 
Oh, they also want tobacco. And spices. Yeah, that's not realistic in the long run though. So who's eating up all of my resources? Are my people still eating up my resources? Yeah. Just my wood though, of course. I hate my people sometimes. Buy wood. For seven. Buy fifty five fucking tons of it. Don't worry, you can still get a shard of money, I guess. It should be fine, just like with my units, so I just can't let them die without paying anything. I mean, I just kind of want to get one last influx of fucking it because I need more houses, I need more people to uh, actually afford all of this shit, but uh, it's, it's such a pain in the ass. Because, well, at this point I'm running a minus 160. But yeah, uh, more people definitely is gonna be the uh, the next goal. Let's just hope that a free trader comes along and has, for some mysticistic reason, all the wood in the world with it. I'm selling wood right now, what do you need? Just send your ship over and I'll give you some wood. Give me a ship. The fleet is moving, Commander. Yes, the fleet is moving. Move Aye, faster. Yeah. <laughs> also, according to my intel, there live 88 people in your little city. Yeah, not many, I know. Okay, yeah? let's see. Uh, okay, let me see. How do I trade Where with that uh, load and load ship? You have a trade agreement. If you click my um, theme here, you can open trades. Sales. What? Eh? Can you just open it? Oh, do I have to do this from the ship? You haven't yet, or did you buy it already? I mean, I clicked putting it up. That should be loaded into my ship now. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, okay. so it has worked. I, well, so I have cash for the first time in my life. Yay! Your orders, <laughs> I've always had cash. Just Thank a matter you. of keeping, you know. Just a matter of slowly growing and uh, slowly building things up. No, then ship. Um, And finally, we have some wood again, which means we can uh, continue building. Well, I mean, to be fair, everything takes quite quite a while. A bit too long to my opinion as well, would you? Would you be messy? Let's get my match, by the way. It's about time for me, so I'll be right back. Yeah, you do that. I'll, I'll sit here nice and quietly and wait for... Oh shit, that church is massive, isn't it? Don't be quiet. No, I don't see that. <laughs> Fair enough. So that is a giant fucking church I'm about to build. Really? That mm. big? Eh, it could be worse. Mm. Uh, fucking, fucking big though. Jesus Christ. Okay, before I do that, I probably need another tavern now. I don't even want to find out. Just make the church first, so it's easy to do that. I need more wood for that, uh... You yeah, know, they just put down the building that will allow these people to actually, uh, evolve as well. I just want to get into the, a bit closer to the plus area again, because minus 168 is not sustainable. Oh yeah, I also need a butcher, now that I think about it. Where is that? Um, what are you gonna kill? Well, I mean, you know, some cows, for starters. Plus, you're gonna kill a hitman. 
mean, you know, I would kill everything else, including, you know, random strangers coming into my village and spreading the plague. We have the plague already? Nah, not really, but I'm assuming it will not take long. Because you're only two in an hour six and two, we know, chat. Okay, so... By the way, get him a match, be right back. Yeah, I'll do that. So I need to buy a purple one. People are like, we have a tavern, but it's empty. Nothing seems to be coming in. Hmm, what does the big church actually cost? Oh, I can almost afford one. Hmm. Because we can't afford the money. I am back. Hmm? Welcome back. I'm just gonna leave the game running AFK because you're not gonna play for a bit. Have some things to do around the house, but I just leave you go play for the game for a bit then, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. I put this in the fridge again. Yeah, my gosh, you just, you just came in as you. Um, I should go back from that side, get to let me have a thing. Oh, that's not bad. Let's block my fish, thank you, Bates. Fish. And that is it's gonna be full. Mm -hmm. Full of stuff. Do you to split it? Freeze your Tetris or not? Huh? Do you sometimes have to play a game of Freezer Tetris or not? Tetris? Yeah. Freezer Tetris, like where you basically have to see how things will fit in the freezer and the fridge and stuff. Mm, I mean, if I ever get need to play anything like that, I would just play normal Tetris. No, I mean like you're forced to do it because there's no room in the fridge, you have to use your channels. Yeah, rather rarely, you know. I have a pretty fucking big fridge. I think. Yeah, fair. Way, way back from, I think, my parents. Yeah, I think that's still the same fridge, yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah, the sort of fridge you get for a fucking full family, so, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I have the same issue, like, mine is for, like, a small family, but I don't have a family, so... I buy into my shit, that's pretty clear. Oh no, no rain, how terrible. You should buy more... Alcohol. Buy more what? Alcohol, you just fill your fucking fridge with beer. There's no room for this. Oh, it's freezer, not fridge, but yeah. Oh, fair enough. But if it's about the fridge, uh, there's room in that, I guess. See, you can not fill it. Not that I drink any beer, but... Ah, you can fill it up with beer. It's always good. And I don't have any beer. I don't buy beer. I don't drink beer. And never too late to start. Never too late to start. I tried wine one time, and with my medication, it's not really safe at this point. <laughs> Yeah, wine and beer. Unless you want me to go blind and die from methanol poisoning. I mean, yeah, you can always counter the methanol with some methanol, so... Strike a yeah, balance. Yeah, but if my medication changed the ethanol into methanol, I'm kind of fucked, isn't it? Yeah... You could be fucked, but you know, it could be worse. What, worse than going blind and dying? Mm, mm, yes. I'd rather live. Yes, yes. I'd rather could... live at this point. Could be worse. You could be uh, sober. German, I know. Yeah, sober. <laughs> if you were German, you wouldn't even have that problem. Okay, we... Or even worse, a sober German. Yeah, that's indeed worse. Actually, I did kind of said I might drink a beer today. Mm. Since I can't, since I can't actually drink as much as I want to, I'm kind of saving it for streaming time. Going like, yep. A fair deal, isn't it? Okay, so we're not really making any money at the moment. Hmm. Oh, we're gonna fix that. Conquer, conquer the people of evil. I would, but uh, military is always something that comes really, really late. In fucking nano. Uh, not really. I mean, I was just recruited like seventy thousand people without costing anything. And did you win your war? I died before I had to pay them. Yeah. I did not win, but I did go to war. I did not pay anyone anything. Guess you normally you build up a bit more before you start doing that because, well, otherwise, uh, you see the so problems. Why yeah, only costs one wood and the crew only costs like nothing at all? Because you can recruit them even if you have no money and it doesn't cost you anything if you have no money. Which is kind of a weird mechanic, but it works with it apparently. Alright, it costs money, doesn't it? Yeah, every, everything costs money apart from houses. Yes, I'm stuck. No, oh, at least the people are happy under my leadership. That's cute. It's cute of what them. What leadership? My genius leadership of just building ever more houses while we wait for some money to come in. So your taxation and luring luring people towards a community that doesn't exist. I'm quite upfront about it. I tell the people it's gonna be fucking shitty for a while, but near now. Oh really? Where's your paper, where's your written evidence if you're doing that? I don't need any written evidence because my people can't fucking read or write. <laughs> Literally, I haven't built a school yet. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, they might have been, but their children haven't and their family probably hasn't at this point. Nah, I'm making sure that only the poor and, you know, uneducated come to my island. Also, for the record, literacy... There was such a thing as local writing back in the day. Literally, right now, my people cannot read or write. It is all over the They can't read and write in the, in the official language, but there was such a thing as local languages, where people writ written, wrote things down in their local languages. The thing about it is, if it wasn't a Damn important it. moment or important document, like for example, um, writing for the church, writing anything else, those documents tend to be forgotten, burnt, or even ignored when they were no longer needed because they were for temporary use. And they were never binding, they were more like a Oh, I'm gonna write this shit down because it's funny and then it's never been remembered or collected because it was not necessary to collect so they had to burn it later on. Yeah, that's just so much trouble if you don't have a fucking unified fucking system for that. Yeah, that's funny, which is why Carolus Magnus tried it and... Then he forces so only the clergy could learn it, and some ability could learn it. That's yeah, rather important that you have a unified system. Wise, it's actually the, the same problem that you had when, you know, in, in around Germany's area, 
were still every just the little city and states we had. Ignores Rhine-Westphalia and Saxony and all of the other little ones. Not only had these people, uh, in general speaking, not a unified fucking writing and uh, reading, of course, com the system, they also all had different um, coins and shit. Which is horrible. I mean, every city state has a different coin. Right? Yeah, which means that every single time you have the problem that, you you know, you let's say that you try the good old-fashioned merchant thing, you, you buy things in one area, with their coin, then you have their coin, you know, you need to even move it over. Not only do you have to pay tax because you are, you know, moving outside of an area and inside a new area, you also now have to deal with the fact that the other area doesn't use Actually, the same coinage. Huh? Yeah, they now have to be converted. Which, money? Which means you, you need to actually... You have to weigh it down. You have to weigh it down. You have to, like, check, check the value of it by literally having someone tax it down. You have to be taxed over the value for being weighed and checked. That too. Yes. Eventually you're not, actually getting. Let's not forget that rulers had a tendency to, uh, well, cheapen or enhance their fucking uh, currency whenever they fucking pleased, which is also one of those things that's like, ah, yeah, that's totally not gonna make any problems. And let's not forget the worst part. There were cities that accepted copper coins, and cities that only accepted from silver and up. A fire has broken out. You're kidding me, a fire? No. Well. Yeah, sounds like you're regular the gameplay. I guess my... You didn't make a fire station, did you? How the fuck I can't even make a fire station? Have you checked? Yes, multiple times. Pretty sure I would have realized if there's anything that looks even remotely like a fire station. Guess we just don't have enough people yet. Oh, you know, you need to educate your people to make them understand that, uh, you know, by reading and writing they can also learn good lessons like um, fire bad, water good, People using water on fire, very good. And leaving yeah. stuff and leaving down is not good. The fire is spreading, well that's not good. Maybe they should also write that the fire spreads for them, because they won't understand it otherwise. You mean some random asshole should probably at this point start, you know, um, coming along and using some buckets or shit? Well, I guess nobody... What water source? The ocean, right next to the A fucking houses. There's no road Ooh, little Terry. There. Well, little Terry, welcome to, uh, well, at least a nice looking burning of my poor little villagers' homes. Ah, uh, just, yeah, don't worry about it. Just a small, a small loss, a small sacrifice for you to make. I have a distinct feeling it will not be a small sacrifice. Uh, one, two, three, four huts at this point. Yeah, but are they all connected or is there a path between that they're sending over? Yeah, no, 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 they're all right next to each other, which is probably how they catch fire. Which means these yeah, are the only so ones... Yeah, if you have fire, I'll sure be fine. I don't have anything. Um, well, you know, just the normal, Terry, you know? People living, people playing with fire, people cooking over open flames. And then burning their houses down. And there's also the issue of like people making stupid shit decisions, like having arsons in their village and shit. Arson, arson is sorry. A flaming inferno is threatening your people. Oh, a flaming inferno is threatening your people. I know game. Ah, I can see a flaming that. inferno. It's not that bad. I would hold off and build the house just to <laughs> like the, the, the burning. <laughs> I was kind of hoping the game wouldn't realize that I just rebuilt some houses there. But not the game was. Are you kidding me? Fair enough, game. Fair enough. Why don't you just destroy the houses manually and build them again? Oh well, yeah, I guess I don't have to uh, wait it out until the uh, fire has taken its uh, its brutal course, ravaging uh, my people's house. Save the game for now because I don't know how it's gonna last. I'm gonna finish the still the negative, okay. Hmm. So you said Terry, but why didn't it trigger? Let me see. I was starting to save game. It's loading the other is safe. Yeah no, it's broken again. I love when that happens.
Give me a second while I take an educated look. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Let's see what the side says. Da -da -da -dum, da -da -da -dum, da -da -da -dum. Yeah, going to this, everything should be working. And let's go on through here again, go like here again, go like uh, a few times. Ha 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 Now it should work again. Well, we might have lost some houses, to be fair, but um, lots of few houses left, right and center. People who lost their homes are like, are you kidding me? Oh, you're just fucking around, aren't ya? <laughs> just like, ah, look at that, there's another fucking fire. Let's see, smoke it, uh, snacks. Snacks will have to wait because I'm actually out of snacks, I need to buy new ones. Smoking I can indeed do. Normally I have some, but I ate my last few uh, nuts. Yesterday, I think. But I have to do something about that. In the near future, as in tomorrow. Do you realize shadows are on fire again, right? I do not let things are on fire. I just can't do anything about it. You can surely build it so they won't catch fire for the <laughs> You just keep getting fire. <laughs> oh, this has to mark a place again. Yeah, there is absolutely... Hmm. Nope, no way in hell to do something about that. You can't even destroy them around fire then, or what's going on with this? Oh, I guess I can. Not really helpful though. I mean, it prevents them from catching fire forever, so maybe. <sighs> it's burning again. Okay, this, 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 this is at this point just, uh, just the game fucking with me, honestly. City. Of course, and the one singular last home that was outside there is also. We must have an arsonist in the city. Oh, have I fished it yet? Sorry, the joke. Have we had enough yet, game? Game. You just like being an asshole, don't you? Is it ever not being an asshole? Or am I mistaken? How am I ever gonna out get out of debt if you destroy my houses and the people that pay me taxes? Things like I don't know. Yeah, it's more like it's my problem, so it's more like a you problem, you know? I mean, fair enough, yes, it is a me problem. Fire is destroying your houses. No, not destroying my houses. Mm. My people, I tell ya. 
My people. Crazy people indeed. <laughs> yeah, we need to get out of debt. Since we can't count on the fucking traders for doing that. Sell those for cheap. Try to get out of fucking debt again. I'm not really enjoying this game, are you? Oh, it's okay. It's not the best unknown game, definitely, but... Uh, Shit, I mean, what's actually the next one after 15... It's the 1700s, 1701. isn't it? 1701. Yeah, that's a better one in my opinion. Not as good as 1601, but definitely an upgrade from one of us before. Yeah, definitely not a bad unknown title, that is true. I guess we know what we're gonna play next then. Are you getting everything you want? Yes, I really would like to do something about taxation though. Okay, so they have to appear and there's still not a hundred people of grades. Not plucking it for bidding, am I? No, not plucking it for bidding. What's this? This is. Well, city still zero, of course. Some months. Oh, and then food again. Okay, cool. Fix the job quick. I have another fishing net, right over here. Yes. What am I missing now? I'm missing cash out for you. Okay. At some point in the near future, I will stop being in fucking debt. Time will come. Guess might, we'll see. It might not come soon. Ah. Yeah, better. I hate it when my people burn down their own houses. Potentially, yes. Practically speaking, I would much rather enjoy it if they could stop that. At least long enough for us to get out of the fucking miners again. No, we shall go to war every day. I mean, we're not that far away from that. Practically speaking. The way the game is like, yeah, your people are kind of happy with what you're doing, and I'm sitting here like, um, you're fucking with me, game. Apparently so, I guess. Game really does like sucking around. I'm not buying anything here. Yeah. Okay, we're Small hunting party, attack the capital again. You're still at war with the fucking primitive people, yes? To a degree, yeah. And just sending him fully up their bully again. You just never give up, do you? It costs me no money, so why care, right? <laughs> at least the music is pretty fucking nice. If only the people could stop being idiots. Can I get at least like... So I get as many as possible, yeah, just because I can. Just to shit and goes. See so if you can get them all killed to survive. I 
It's not a small fortress, I can make more minutes at once. Just to screw around with it. Hmm. Ah, so this cost me something to keep them, but it doesn't cost me anything in total because it's not really revolting or anything. Okay, more men being made. Almost 400 people and we still Sent in the first wave. can't afford all the shit we're going. First wave incoming, if they're incoming at all. Sure, take my prisoners, I don't care, just kill them already. Let's join this little army. On the march again. I have no much to do. Because apparently units are free, so I care about it. Mm. Let's go to Archers first, with just Venom. Gee, I wonder why I'm under attack. Window are some messes? Is it you to me or what is that? Yeah, that's just me randomly talking to you over the ocean. As I can. <laughs> uh, my best guess is kill all the infidels, I guess, and just killing everyone you're going to kill because like they're going with it. I'm now just encouraging you to do what you know. You know it needs to be done. Oh god damn it, game. You're doing another fire, eh? Okay, now it's to me for What happens? Did I get too many people or something? I can't recruit anymore. I mean, it still has negative cash, but it didn't stop it before, so. It's in my trip, so we'll see what happens. Over 400 people, still not capable of fucking running out of the minus. Thank you, what's that? I'm more curious why I can't recruit any more now when I had like no cash to begin with. Africans. Africans can be found in the steppes and jungle regions. It's like thanks game, I kinda figured that out. Okay, well, this my last wave I could probably send before they sell me to go make anything. Yeah, I can make them more units. Oh, I can make units again. Cool. Only two. I did have 200 cash to the severe part. <laughs> Anyways. Actually, is there something about that to take this? Okay, so now I should be doing for making me use when I'm in debt, which is interesting, because it could be four. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna lose everything now. It's funny to see that. Or I just have to figure my to piss me off, could that be the case? Yeah, it's like I'm not gonna tell you anything about that because, well, fuck you, I guess. Yeah, most likely. They haven't detected you yet, though. It's just in my territory, I guess. Rutting. Oh, Damn it. public square, public buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's kind of cute. Yeah, can't afford that. Hmm. 
and my insane desire to build ever more houses, so we might potentially at some point see a plus again. We'll never see a plus, but it's fine. I'm just at minus 42, uh, 44. What do you see? sell some surplus resources. I'm already selling shit. Like what? Um, iron ore. Player bankrupt. Hey, that's me. The game is like, yeah, I just want to let you know, you're kind of bankrupt, aren't ya? I'm sad. And it's like, what do you mean, game? Morally? Physically? Did you get your cup of coffee at the Hmm, alright. Actually, now I'm gonna keep that one saved for tomorrow because it's far too late for a cup of coffee. I do need to make the long journey tomorrow to find out where the fuck my medication went. Hell. Maybe. I can't connect with that. Have I actually lost the game? Is that it? She says, don't fire your place, I see. Yeah, I'm not in charge of the village any longer. I can't do anything with them any longer. The, the people abandoned me. Oh, you yeah, lost the marketplace there, or what? No, player not active. I'm apparently now in free view mode. Huh? Did you lose? Apparently. I don't know how that happened, but uh, no, apparently I've lost. trying to buy up food now, so I guess that's the case. I'm yeah, not flying my flag any longer. Yeah, I have a distinct feeling. Um... Yeah. The people just ousted me and went like, well, go away. It's just a bit of question. Can I build it now? Because they're kind of wearing my flag right there. It's... You see, that is not my flag. My flag is red. Still getting minus, though. Oh, I guess they're at the base. Wait, weren't you the blue cross? I thought they're still. Is this your flag or. I was the cross. Is it the blue cross flag or what is this? I don't know what that is, but it's definitely not me. Let me see my allegiance. Because I can't build anything. And the deck with that any longer. Can't even delete the fucking burning houses. Wait a second, where are you at? Ah, you don't have a player either. That's interesting. Let me end this game. She just learned from the last safe, can also do that. I'm not a player any longer, I'm just a watcher. Save and load, can load. I can't load mid game, but I said bullshit. Okay, this game. Right, and I'm saving over the same safe game, never mind. You can't do that either now. So. Funny thing. <laughs> capital minus. The capital was in the minus. <laughs> yeah, minus two thousand cash. How did that happen? I'm so hard in the minus. It's not even funny. <laughs> Look at my dead soldiers, though. Your summary score is also pretty nice. Minus two thousand six hundred ninety. Because <laughs> of my dead soldiers. If we didn't sit on the war, I think it would be fine. Yeah, but the soldiers really did um, brutalize your fucking uh, score down to nothing. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I think I can already tell the uh, next game on our list is gonna be Lazardo. 
But uh, this one. Ah, 1700, eh? Just start the editor now, so I'm gonna make an editor for us. Yeah, yeah you can do that. I think I'm going to end it for today as well. It's uh, getting late. It's getting a bit late, and as I said, you know, uh, I actually have the double trouble of uh, tomorrow morning. Not you only have a quest tomorrow. Yeah, and not only do I have to do this uh, particular quest in the most annoying way, I also have to use technology I don't like. Because it's that an automated uh, post thingy. I'm like, oh great, how the fuck do I do this? Well, you just need to use your, sm your, your smartphone. I'm sitting like, bold of you to assume I have a working smartphone. Bold indeed. Mm. So the modern world everyone has one. Apparently what I'm supposed to be doing is I should take my, my smartphone and this little postcard I have and then I should go there. And I'm like, okay, wait a second, how does this even work? I need to actually sign up for that. Ah, uh, well. So with the warehouse or stop a ship? I should you start with the warehouse or start with a ship? But well, complaints aside, um, I shall end my stream for today and tomorrow. Um, there's also gonna be probably a double stream, uh, at least I hope. <coughs> and it depends on how long my little adventure quest time takes. But uh, well, we will see how that works out. For the moment, I shall bid you all adieu.